Hello and welcome to Data Research Labs. For this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to upgrade My Time Tabulator using the Import feature. Before we get started doing an upgrade, first we need to know why. The reason is that when a new release of My Time Tabulator ships, you don't want to lose all your data and start over. You want to carry forward that historical data sitting in the old version of the application. Before starting the upgrade and import steps, it is very important that you perform two preparatory steps. First, make a backup of your current Access Database file. Second, rename your current Access Database file to something different. That way it doesn't get overwritten. I typically tack on underscore older, something like that. From the GitHub instructions, step number one, backup. Open Windows File Explorer to the folder containing mytimetabulator.accdb. So here we are, that's where I keep it on my machine. And then we're going to copy the accdb. And we need to find a backup folder somewhere on the system. I tend to anchor my backup folder right here because even though it's the same folder on the same workstation and if the workstation gets corrupted, I'll lose the data, it's okay because Microsoft OneDrive is backing it all up. And I will paste it in here and I tend to like to put an underscore, it's the date 2021-0501 was when it was last updated there. And one quick note, if you don't have OneDrive, then you really should make your backups somewhere else off of your uh, your workstation. You can use a network drive or something like that and just manually copy it over there. And moving along to GitHub instruction, step number two, we need to rename this file. And the reason is, if we do an upgrade, this old file is going to get overwritten and we'd lose all our data and we don't want to do that. So F2 and underscore, and I like to put old, you can do whatever you want. You could even point to the version back here. But anyway, that's what I do. I put in underscore old and the file is renamed. Next, we're going to upgrade the application following steps three and four in the GitHub documentation. Next, for step three, we're going to download the latest My Time Tabulator. Go into here, go into downloads, go click the actual file and click the download button. And then I'm going to open the download folder and right click and cut. Then I'm going to paste it into my target directory. And there we go. So I've pasted it, which is step four, into the appropriate folder. So now we have not only downloaded, but we've also upgraded the version. Finally, we're going to perform the import steps five through 11 as listed in the GitHub instructions. This will pull all the data from the old file into the new file, as well as verify it works. Step number five of the demo, we're going to open the new template that we downloaded, the upgraded version, double click it. It opens up. Now notice this is definitely the new template. Here we are being asked again, so we're going to click enable content. The version has the latest version. The Employer name, username is all blank. There's no data if I scroll through. So there's no data in here. And that's to be expected. It's an empty template, the latest version of the data. So that is step five. Step number six, click the import button. Notice that it's enabled. Step number seven, click the yes to the prompt because we're certain that we want to import the data into this empty template. Step number eight in the file dialog, pick the old database because file because that's the one that has the data. And if you used a different name, fine, pick a different name. And we click the open button. Now, step number nine, you're gonna get asked this over and over for every table that it imports. So I'm just gonna click open, 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 open. And almost done, click in the opens. And there we go, it's all done. Now, let's see if the data is in there. Let's go to step 11 to verify that it in fact loaded on step 10. And there we go, yep, data's in there. And I can hit a time card, yep, there's data. I can go back a couple of weeks, hit a time card, yep, there's data. And to be really sure, I could hit reports and do, oh sure, a Gantt chart, run it for all time, all data, yep, there we go. That has the three pages that I know to be standard. So that's it, that is how you upgrade and import data from a prior version. Thank you for watching and please, if you found this video helpful, click like and subscribe. Also check out our other videos and related playlists in the boxes to the right.